We're going to be talking today a little about DWIs. We're having an ongoing experiment, if you will, about uh, the effects of, drunk, uh, of, dr of drinking, uh, not even getting the driving part involved at this point. Uh, we have Officer Mike Oakes of the Overland Police Department is with us, and uh, he's going to be, he's got the breathalyzer, he's going to tell us all about that, a lot of the information about the laws, his laws have been changing like on a daily basis, so we need to get you an update to all that uh, to all that information. Tim, could you keep it down over there? It sounds like yeah. Oh, yeah. How, yeah. how loud do you have you to be say? to get a beer out of a cooler? Man, oh, man. Oh, my God. That's what was going on? He <laughs> yeah, I just... was getting a beer out of the wow. cooler. I thought it was a train. The only thing he wasn't doing was going, woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's subtle. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good at the ladies. Colombo's got his drinking log here. I like this. Bad, right, right, bad news, if you will, is about the uh, the officer lost his life. It was on Christmas Day, and, uh, and Mike, you got some information about Yeah, thanks, about Mark. On a more serious note, I think... We must honor Corporal Dennis Inglehart with the Missouri State Highway Patrol. He lost his life tragically on Christmas Day when he was working a crash on Interstate 44 out in Eureka. And the visitation is today with funeral services tomorrow. He is just a true asset to the Missouri State Highway Patrol. And he was a huge uh, in DWI enforcement. So I think it's very important that we honor him today and he will be deeply missed. And as you said, the most preventable crime and the most senseless death. I mean, it has to be the most senseless death. They died because someone was selfish. And I've, but for the grace of God, go I that I've never been arrested or never hurt anyone or myself. But I've done it. Most of us have done it. But you have to grow up to a, a, to a, a level where you say, I'm no longer going to be selfish in this way. And today what we're doing is, because I have no idea how many beers it takes to be over the legal limit, how, you know, how big a guy you have to be, how long you have to drink. The so we're we're going to have fun here. We're going to have a good time. Tony and Tim are going to drink and we'll laugh and stuff. But make no mistake, the, the bottom line of why we're here with New Year's Eve coming up is to give you a graphic demonstration of, oh, my God, he's only had X amount of beers. And, it, you know, I would absolutely drive home with that many beers. And you'll see that you would be pulled over or you would hurt yourself or someone else. We should do another breathalyzer. At, at, yes. at 420, okay, oh, for the love of God. At 420, he blew a 0 0.5 and I blew a 0 0.43. Yeah. So. This is Tim that was making noise. Isn't that what we're here for? To log these? <laughs> yes. He's never been this precise about anything. God. <laughs> and Tim is at a point to 106. So wow. Clearly, wow. Over, clearly yeah. over the legal clearly. limit. Clearly. And that's with six beers Wait. and how many hours? About two and a half. Two and a half hours. Which six, is yeah. kind of normal. If I was going to drinking, six yeah. beers yeah. and two and a half hours is probably, it's a pretty good clip, but it's certainly not any, anything crazy. How do you feel, All right. Timmy? So how do you feel, Tim? I honestly, I'd drive home right now. You would? Yeah. All, All right. right. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, see, ya. <laughs> Officer Mike, if you uh, uh, if you pulled uh, if you pulled Tim over, the one of the sobriety tests that you give the field sobriety would that be the one where stand there, Timmy, put your put your arms straight out, and do you have them close their eyes, Mike, or do they or do touch their their nose? Is that one of them? You know, that's that's some of them that you can do. Okay, uh, we have three that are really <laughs> standardized. <laughs> <laughs> I'll touch mine. <laughs> There yeah. goes the show. There's enough touching in here. <laughs> Thank you. We have a police officer on door. We have three standardized field sobriety tests that we generally use. And the one I mentioned earlier is a horizontal gaze and stagmas test. Okay. That's where I'm really checking your eyes and I'm having you follow the tip of my finger with your eyes only without moving your head. Do you do that first? That is one of the first that okay. is the first one so I do. You're gonna know pretty quick. Right. I do them pretty much in the same order yeah. every time. That yeah. way I'm very consistent with what I'm doing. Uh, the next one I do is the walk and turn test. I have them take nine heel toe steps forward and nine heel toe steps back. And I'm looking for a number of things, whether they're using their arms, you know, whether there's space between their feet mm -hmm. and many other things. There are just a lot of different clues that I could go into for each test. And then after that, I have them do the one leg stand test where I have them stand with their feet together and they raise one foot, either foot approximately six inches above the ground. And they're looking down at that foot and they're counting out loud until I tell them to stop. Mm -hmm. So those are really the three standardized field sobriety yeah. testing. See, I'd fall over sober. Right now. If, if I had to lift one leg up, yeah. I, I would be falling over. I mean, I do the Wii Fit thing, you know, and you got to stand up on one leg. I'm, <laughs> I'm falling over. I just don't have good balance. I mean, well, I think I would be you so... You probably shouldn't be driving anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even sober. You should be in a hole. <laughs> We're going to get you in a hole immediately. All right, let's do our sobriety with uh, the, the blow test with Tony. Hey, Tony, how do you feel? Before you, before you get the, the reading, how do you feel now? Um, I feel a little bit buzzed, but I definitely don't feel like 
I, I, I would agree with Tim. So if you're at the locker room and you'd been there since 3 o'clock... Why do we got to throw the locker room out of the room? And your wife calls <laughs> and says, uh, hey, Grace is feeling bad. Come home. If I were at happy hour right now and it was time to go home, I would drive, my, I would drive home. I'd like to say yeah. that Tony is still not slurring. His hair, bro. It does. Yeah. Looks like yeah. crap. God. I pull him over for a bad hair day. Yeah. Look at the mustache. It's like Caligula after a bad weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Caligula. That was good, Dave. And Tony is at a point one zero five. Wow. Right. right there. Two of them underneath. So.